the co-host for this show today is that filthy Tom Lawler. I'm not sure if, you know, he, he's got you blocked already. I got to be honest, I probably do. But you know what, filthy? Welcome to the show. Number one, first things first, were you able to get the fly out of the room that has been buzzing around your head here for the last, oh, 10 minutes or so? Yeah, it's that fly is out of the way, Mike. Thanks. What an introduction that you like was. That? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to get back. I'll, I'll get right to that question they asked earlier because I had the answer prepared. Okay. Did Tony Khan give me the big hug? The answer is no. I got the handshake. Oh. I got the handshake, Mike. But more importantly, said he was a fan of the podcast. Wait, did he wasn't say it, he was a, a fan wasn't of like. I was expecting that one. Wait, of, of like me and you when we used to do a podcast? Or that's like... how I that's how I took it. Oh. But uh I cannot confirm nor deny. I mean he may have meant any of the uh number of shows that I've been on. Probably. I mean in all reality it was probably a, a show I was on with Brian and Dave years ago, but I'll take whatever I can get. If I if I'm not gonna get that match at the Forbidden Door, I'll take old TK being a fan of the hearing me on Wrestling Observer Radio. That's Better than nothing. I guess so. But did you take my advice for you when you found out that the match was going to be canceled and or postponed, depending on how you want to look at it? Did you raid craft services and take a little bit with you on the way out the door? Oh, I packed about 30 brownies into my kick pads. Uh, there was some beef au jus dumped into my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't take a tray an entire tray of chicken breasts or anything no i heard that gets you in real trouble so i stuck with the other goods but <laughs> well, yeah look, i've had that 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 fly that was in here earlier that was buzzing around was killing me because i've had about a million things buzzing in my head since last tuesday uh when i got the call to jump adam cole at the behest of all mjf and uh, since then, it's been a whirlwind, Mike. Well, in good and bad ways. Those people who are out there listening, especially on terrestrial radio, who may not be subscribers to F4WOnline.com, you and Brian, every single Monday, do a show, Filthy Four Daily, that Brian talks to you and, you know, usually complains and bitches and moans about things, but talks to you about what's going on in your life. And obviously, we weren't able to do one on Monday because you were still traveling back. But you said Tuesday you got the word that this was going to happen with being brought in to be MJF's henchman to jump Adam Cole. How did that come about? Was it on Tuesday that you got the call or are you just saying that and it was a little bit earlier? Uh, you know, that's when that's when MJF let me know what was going down there. Uh <laughs> did did he send you now did he send you well i mean a, if you blank Mike, check Mike, that he had set want, up for so, sammy so, and said name your price uh, filthy? so what so what happened is that on wednesday evening myself and hoist isaacs from team filthy attacked adam cole from behind after mjf said that due to adam cole forcing well basically tricking him into agreeing to wrestle tanahashi at forbidden door he talked to Tony Khan and got him a match. And that's essentially how it went down. And uh, when I found out about that, we made our appearance, tried to get the jump on the guy. And we did such a good job that the match didn't even go down. We took him out. Is you there a bounty? <laughs> yeah. I want to see some footage from Pulley Up Washington, or however you say that, the name of that town that made Adam Cole sick, apparently. Now, was it true that, that he got the flu or something like that? Or did you send a member of Team Filthy to that Comic-Con and maybe, you know, do some, Hold let's on. say, pride-fighting no. championship things and send some people up to his room maybe late at night or do something to his food to... Uh, not to say that that ever happened in Pride or K1 or anything, allegedly, possibly, maybe, but did you take some of those tactics Mike. to get Adam Cole sick? Mike... No one from the legitimate athlete roster of Team Filthy would be caught dead at a Comic-Con, especially 
especially in Puyallup, Washington, of all places. Are you kidding me? No, we didn't send anybody after him. I hope Adam Cole recovers from whatever affliction he's suffering from. I hope it's not the flu. I hope it's something I less hope like that. he didn't eat at Applebee's. I mean, that's what I was wondering. Well, if he was hanging out with old cheapskate Welvarez, then uh, perhaps he did take a dip into the Applebee's ocean and came up a little seasick. But I hope he recovers. I hope uh, we can get that match done in the future. But I've got a lot of things on my plate coming up, and I don't know, uh, quite frankly, I don't know when it's going to go down. So, Hey, well, we're, we're, we're going to get to some of those things that you have coming up here real soon because you come next week, you're going to be back in Japan, and there's going to be a lot to talk about there. But, you know, I saw the tweet. I was – taking Avery to work and I saw the tweet hey you know you retweeted the the match she had coming up against Cole and then about an hour later you sent out the tweet that Tony Khan uh, retweeted what Tony Khan had sent out about Adam Cole getting sick what was the timeline as far as were they tr really trying to wait obviously they wanted that match to happen I'm sure Adam Cole wanted the match to happen even though he was going to get beat up it's you know yeah. it's an honor to get beat up by you I, I have heard that from many people so I mean I'll tell you I'll tell you a true story is yeah. years ago when I went to manage my friend's Red Dragon against the old Young Bucks in a match that Red Dragon won and walked away the ROH World Tag Team Champions there was a man by the name of Adam Cole backstage who came up and got my autograph. Got a picture with me. So, what a mark. Yeah. <laughs> so he knows what's in store for him. <laughs> hey, you know, let's rewind to that just, just momentarily here because you were still fighting for the UFC at the time. And obviously this is when Red Dragon was in ROH and you made some appearances there. I, I don't know if I should be asking this question or not. I don't know if it's come up when you've talked to Brian before, but if I recall correctly, and I could be wrong, were you supposed to do more with Ring of Honor and UFC ended up putting the kibosh on that? That is exactly what happened is uh, one of the news outlets. I think it was I think it was actually TMZ. I think it was your old stomping grounds, TMZ. Oh, you stop. Uh, TMZ Sports or something put out an article saying that I had actually signed a deal with Ring of Honor, which wasn't the case. I mean, I had agreed to do, you know, uh, multiple appearances to manage uh, Red Dragon. And, you know, whether I would have done a an increasing amount of physicality in those matches, uh, you know, that remains to be seen. But at the time, it was just supposed to be some uh, managing gigs. And uh, my management was contacted by... <clears throat> the man on the milk carton, Joe Silva, and told not to uh, continue on with these Ring of Honor appearances. So, Boom. In hindsight, with it being 2020, Boom. That's what would happened. you have just said, screw this and I'm showing up to those ROH shows anyway? Yeah, because I think the issue is that they realistically couldn't have stopped me legally. But who knows? <laughs> now we have uh, John Jones appearing on PFL shows, and they, they don't do anything to stop that. But then again, I haven't paid attention to UFC since you left, and I have no plans to do so. But I'm at a Father's Day retreat. We were going to go camping today, but uh, suffice to say, the weather was not uh, suitable for camping with these two youngsters. And so we rented this cabin here instead. Bug. God damn it. <laughs> Eat it. Sorry. Eat it. I'm not going to eat it. That happened last time. I swallowed a bug. I hope it was ah. a big one. Ah. Mm. My wife is asking what happened. And, and I you ate explained. a bug. Come on in, Pace. Why don't you come say hi to everybody? What is all over your face? Oh, my God. That's my child. Hey, Hannah, come in here. Say hi to everybody. Do you got s'mores all over your face, kid? Why don't you come over here and say hi? What do you want to say? No. Yeah, I don't know. Either. Get out of here. All right, well... That was fun. Hey, listen, we're going to be back on Tuesday. NWA TNA episode one. Right, Hana? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's acting like a child. All right. Well, that's it, everybody. Yes, Faze? Uh -oh. Okay, get out of here. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.